Alright, what's up, y'all? I'm making this video because I think that I absolutely need to say something in a certain, certain situation. Just like I said before, you know, I don't go ahead and just talk because I think I can talk or just whatever. Unless I absolutely think I need to talk about something. And the only reason that I feel that I need to talk about this is because my name is always brought up when cue ball is brought up in videos of recent... Um, it's like I'm associated with him. Uh, so yeah, let me, uh, go ahead and get this shit going. Now, everybody knows I used to be pretty cool with, uh, with cue ball. I used to talk to him on a daily basis, yada, yada, whatever. Uh, a lot of people know this, but cue ball used to come to me on a very regular basis to talk to me about several things to get my perspective on it because, um, you know, he, he thought what I had to say was of merit, you know, um, he thought that I was a knowledgeable person when it came to things of common sense, gaming, whatever, uh, certain situations, shit like that. But, um, you know, and recently, uh, he has made a complete 180. Now, I'm not talking about the PS3 for 360 thing. I could care the fuck, fuck less about that. I could care less about that. It's not my shit. It's not my money. He is not me. <laughs> he can do whatever he wants. I don't care. All right? This not, shit is not about that whatsoever. This shit is about all the shit that he's saying recently, making stupid, making stupid racist comments, not just in text form, but in video. All right? And being serious about it, you know, not just playing it off or joking or whatever. This dude is literally being serious about this shit. Uh, and, you know, I don't endorse that shit, man. I am not affiliated with that shit. Uh, and I strongly feel that anybody that does is no better than fucking he is. And I'll say this shit right now. Uh, you know, um... Asian Asian Kid One, I believe, uh, games with Q Ball on on live. He probably doesn't anymore, uh, as of recent. But you know, I'm gonna ask him. I'm gonna see if he does, and if he still does, you know, he talks to him and shit. Then I don't want to fucking, uh, you know, I don't want to converse with uh, Asian Kid or anybody that does affiliate himself with him anymore because you know, I mean, uh, I'm black. I don't want to be around shit like that, you know, that's, if that's amazing or shocking to you, I mean, it shouldn't be, <laughs> but you know, like, who, who, who wants to be around people that, that are, you know, saying racist shit, and it's not cool, uh, it's not like they're saying it in a comedic fashion, you know, they're dead ass serious about this shit. And, uh, you know, he, he made certain comments in his video talking about, oh, I can call him nigger because I can, and it's that easy. I, I do it. I said, call him nigger to piss him off. Like, what kind of shit is that, man? What kind of fucking bullshit is that? Like, I mean, honestly, man, if you, if you talked to q um, what the fuck are you doing? Like, literally, like, what the hell are you doing? Uh, unless you are racist yourself, then what the fuck? <laughs> like the this shit is inexcusable, plain and simple, inex fucking excusable. This shit is just not cool. And uh, you know there was uh, this dude named Jazz I I spoke to, um, you know not too long ago, uh, and I believe he games with cue ball pretty much all the time. The dude's like, I don't know how old he is. He looks really young. I know cue ball's a lot older than he is, I'm pretty sure. And, you know, um, and it's, 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 just, it's just funny that he's sitting there playing with people that are younger than him, and I'm pretty sure he's talking that way on live, you know? I'm pretty sure he's doing that shit. Because, you know, he used to talk that way on PSN. Um, and... It was funny, too, because at a certain point, uh, a while back, I was talking, I got into a conversation with him, 
and I forgot exactly what we were talking about, but, you know, he, he made a remark, like, he's like, yeah, when I used to play on Xbox Live, you know, I used to, I used to say, you know, the, the N-word here and there, you know, there and this, whatever, yada, yada, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking in my head, like, at the time, I was like, what? Like, like, when the fuck did the word nigger become a part of competitive sports? Like, <laughs> I mean, even, even, okay, I won't say competitive sports, but let, competitive gaming, you know? Like, when did the fuck, did it factor into the fucking equation? When did that happen, you know? Uh, it, it, it doesn't, doesn't fucking make sense. Uh, you know, all those people, that's, and that's another reason why, I mean, people can fucking hate on what I'm fucking about to say, um, all they want, but it's a simple fucking fact. You get on Xbox Live, you hear it all the fucking time. I get on PSN, I don't hear it that often at all. There's there's times when I go months without hearing that shit. But you know, you get on Xbox Live, you got all these people saying nigger, nigger, nigger. It's like, what the fuck? You hear it all the fucking time. Anybody that says otherwise is full of shit. That's the first thing that comes, that's the first thing that registers in my head. They're full of shit. And the very fact that they endorse that community. I'm not talking about the service. I'm talking about the community. And say that shit is great. Shows me something about themselves. Like, because that community is fucking rotten. And he is factoring himself in that community. The way that he's acting. Not just the Xbox Live community. But the racism community. <laughs> Being fucking racist. This shit is not fucking funny, and it's not cool. It's, like, I, can't, I can't affiliate myself with someone like that. I can't endorse that shit. You know, complete fucking 180, just like, boom, just gone. Like, what the fuck happened here? You know? You know, when I actually watched Huntmaster Flex's video, uh, not too long ago, and he was talking about the whole stereotype and uh, racial slur type of thing. You know, I, I understood exactly what he was saying. You know, I, I did. But at the same time, it depends on how you say those stereotype jokes. How they, how they make it funny. But, I, I understand, but overall, I understand exactly what he's saying. But, you know, uh, it's, it's just... You know, there was one thing... That Q-Ball said also that he said he planned to, to do this, you know. So he planned to call everybody niggers and, you know, be like, you know, call me uh, all this racist shit, even though I didn't offend him at all. Uh, call uh, my boy Snoopy on Skype all this racist shit too. All this, you know, whatever. And just to get people upset at him. And then he somehow succeeded. Like, what did you succeed in? You succeeded in making yourself look like a fucking racist. You succeeded in making yourself look like a fucking idiot. You succeeded into looking like, like, literally the bottom of the fucking food chain. Like, I, like, I, I see your name. I think of, I, or I think about you, or I see like a reference of you, and I immediately think of a piece of shit. Because that's what you, that's kind of what you are to me now. Because I don't want to be affiliated with that shit. Plain and simple. And any and I see that anybody else that is is just as equal to he to him. You know, it doesn't matter in your mindset whether you believe. Oh, I'm just playing a joke with him, motherfucker. It's what you show. It's your persona. Okay, you can't just say what you want to say to, to people. And expect them just to, you know, not to take it a certain way. You know, because out of out of all this shit, you're offending yourself. And you're offending <laughs> you're offending what you're all about. So I mean you're not getting me upset. So you failed. Point blank, you failed. But it's 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 more shocking than anything. But like I said, y'all, I had to put out this video and shit just to go ahead and talk about it. Um, 
I could really talk about it for a lot longer, but, you know, I figure I'll just go ahead and cut it. But I will say this, that I am definitely copping that Super Street Fighter 4 on Tuesday. I am fucking hyped up about that shit, man. Uh, I wasn't hyped up at all, really, for the original Street Fighter 4. But now, for this one, for some reason, I'm hyped up about it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for that shit to drop. 